This episode's FTR shoutout goes to Hui Fam. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. Some of the comments in the last episode said like I had a small mic. Like, why is your mic so small? It's just because I don't need to make up for anything else, you know. Fish tank review. Have you seen those dogs and cats walking around with the leashes, and you get jealous and want to walk your fish around town? Well, now you can with fish backpack. This aquarium backpack lets you haul around your fish wherever you go. They're not kidding about the haul part. I'm gonna literally haul it. Now I don't know if you know but water is super heavy. <laughs> now just looking at those rocks, those might already be a challenge to haul around. Now add in like two gallons of water and shoulder displacement, spinal injury, um, depression of your hips. For $500 you can kill your fish and also uh, get ready for your chiropractor. And apparently, the company says this backpack is self-cleaning. I don't, I don't know what that means. Wow, I have never seen a fish tank with that much algae. It's got so much algae, it's growing on the fish themselves. Now, I don't do saltwater tanks. I don't know too much about it, but I'm pretty sure this is not normal and not what people want. This is at a dentist's office. I mean, I know the two things aren't really correlated, but like, it'll still leave a bad impression on your patients. Oh, this guy left the address of this dentist's office. I'm just gonna leave it here for you guys. It's really bad, so like, if you're in Sydney, go boycott them or something. Eh, they seem to be happy about something. Maybe the fish did it on purpose. I hope you're joking. Those are the worst living conditions I've ever seen. Those poor animals probably have no idea what's going on. Fish aren't smart enough to do something like that anyways. Hey guys, as usual, here goes my Patreon plug. Thank you to my OG patrons, Corvus Austin, Daniel Thomas, and Cranium Rex. Thanks for sticking with me for so long. And I've also gained a few new supporters, Spoiled Splendid, K, Clara Metz, and my new Keystone patrons, Hydrogen Dragon, and Ferraris Aquatics and Exotics, which by the way, go check out his channel. He's got some awesome saltwater and freshwater tropical tanks for you to check out very soon. This influx of Patreon support is very motivational for me and does wonders for the channel. Thank you guys so much. And also thanks everyone for sending in your tanks, for watching my videos. You guys are some of the best subscribers I can ever ask for. Some dude tried selling me this saying you can easily add more fish. Uh, yeah, I guess the only way you can easily add more fish is literally you open up the tank, drop some fish in. That is pretty easy, but you know, you really shouldn't be adding anything else into that tank except for a net that you use to take out the fish so that they don't keep suffering like this. All right, we got a classic, you know, Mountain Dew sort of thing. It actually looks kind of like spores in this like green space. Actually kind of looks cool, except I, I'm pretty sure this is horrible. In my other video, there was like these algae blooms and I got mixed reviews. Some people said it was bad. Some people said that's what you're supposed to do with goldfish. I'm kind of uh, skeptical about that. So confirm with me in the comments below. Now we got this no filter, no heater tank. It's a very interesting looking tank. There's no substrate. It's probably like 0 0.01 gallons. Just kidding guys, this is a cute little picture. I think that might be a saltwater puffer. I just hope this fish actually does have a nice tank to go back to. For Instagram, sure. Just try not to take your fish out too much to do this, or at all. Yeah, literally, what the F. You think it wasn't enough to put a goldfish in there? You gotta put a garami? Is this a new high score for things wrong with a single container of fish and water? Why yes, yes it is. I guess it's a contest now. What is happening to humanity? I think my fish died. You think, Henry? Yeah, so you put the fish in this small little container, sealed it airtight, deprived of all oxygen. Have you not seen a single video by Serpa Design where he makes the sealed paludariums? What the hell are you doing putting a fish in there and sealing it off? Really speaks volumes of how smart you are. You got so many books in the back. Yet I'm pretty sure you've learned nothing. Yikes. Okay. This is the medium size? <laughs> How much smaller can you go from here? There's four goldfish in that tiny ass bowl. It really blows my mind. Who would buy this? If you want a humidifier, just get a humidifier. Leave the live fish alone. This post actually confuses the crap out of me. <laughs> the owner must have been like, Oh look, a reptile tank. 
Turtles are reptiles. I'll just buy a Exoterra reptile tank specifically for them. Great. Oh no, this reptile tank can't hold that much water and it'll overflow. So let's just use a food bowl and then put that in the bottom and then put our turtles in the food bowl. Seriously, if this is a permanent enclosure, that owner needs to die. Yep, I'm skipping the whole jail process. You're gonna get executed. This tank was sent in by Dartu Boy. He saw this fish tank lying around in the streets of Japan. This is a bare bone tank, no filter, no heater, no substrate, lights, nothing. Just water and one or two goldfish, I think. Let's just say it's not overstocked, but still, it's outside. And I'm pretty sure temperatures in Japan do fluctuate, especially in winter, depending on where it can drop below zero. And that's a big no-no for goldfish. So this is kind of a yikes. But thanks for sending this in, Dartu Boy. But super cool name. Sounds like some League of Legends username. Maybe you're even MLG. I'm not sure. Next tank is sent to me by Dave Kwok. Pretty clean look going on. You definitely have a theme here of like, you know, just a smaller shrubby look. I really like the placement of the rocks, the hardscape, and also the color scheme of the whole tank. Now, initially I wanted to say like fill out the back or something, but this is definitely a look, a theme of the tank. Everything is kept small. Anyways, I do enjoy this aquascape. I'm giving it a 4.5 out of 5. Good job. This tank is sent to me by Emil Chung. This is a nice big tank with some rainbows here and there. An angel fish, an assortment of plants. I'm not sure if they're new or you've been trimming them, but I think just let them grow out a little bit more and the tank will look more lush. But of course I do have a problem here and I think you guys already know. It's this red looking like Coke cap sort of thing. I'm not sure exactly what that is. I mean, it might be there to give some refuge to a pleco or something, or it might hold some personal significance to you. So I don't really want to judge, but if it was me, I would replace that with, if you wanted something red in the tank, then I would use just Lotus, Tiger Lotus. 3.75 out of five. Next tank is from Hugo. He's also got a red piece of artificial thing, almost at the exact same kind of location as the last tank. I kind of enjoy it. Um, you can totally see this fish tank displayed at some Japanese store, and that would be very fitting to put something like that, even though it's artificial, in the tank. And you can see he's already got the additional red from the tiger lotus in the middle. Now what's really interesting here is Hugo says he's 14 years old. So if he did this all by himself, 14 years old, man, you are going places. That puts me to shame. 4.75 out of 5. Really good job. This last tank is sent to me by Christy, and she said this was aquascaped by someone called Paul Lau. So uh, good job, Paul. The carpeting plants have not really started to do their work yet, but I think within a few months, it'll be very vibrant. Not exactly sure what's going on in the left upper corner. Might be some immersed grow out situation over there, but the tank itself looks quite lovely. You got so many textures in there and then the textures broken by even more textures from the red plants. The colors work very well together. The tank itself is understocked with uh, fauna. So yeah, personal preference, that's awesome. I think, yeah, just give it a few months for it to grow and it'll be just perfect. Right now it's nearing perfect for me, 4.75 out of 5. Great job. We've come to the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet.